for the example of two women that we will never forget. God, we will never forget their example, but we will never forget their names. God, I give thanks for the example of Shipra and Pua, that in the face of certain death for them, they said, we will choose to fear God and not man. God, if there is anywhere in my life or anywhere in all of our lives that we are choosing the fear of man over over fearing you, God, I pray that we would not only recognize that, but we would repent of that today. God, if we are participating or compromising in any way things that are not consistent with your character, God, whether we're doing so under the banner of, I've been instructed to do this, or we're making the willful choice just to to participate in order to please those around us, God, I pray that you would give us the courage to fear you, to hate that which is evil, to hate sin, to reject it, to repent of it, that we would be men and women who are choosing to fear you. And God, I give thanks for the example that we see of your response to these women. God, that you choose to honor those who honor you. So God, I pray in the choices that we make on a day-to-day basis, we would be filtering those choices, those decisions. Is this going to honor God? And if it does not, then God, I pray that we would not choose to go down that path. I pray that we would choose not to look at that, to click on that. I pray that we would choose not to say certain things, but God, that we would make choices that would be honoring to you. So please just take a moment to allow God just to search the heart, to search your heart, and just ask God, is there anywhere in my life where I'm just choosing the fear of man? And whether it's just one place or multiple places, Please make the courageous choice today. Say, God, I reject this. I repent of that. I choose to fear you. I choose to honor you moving forward. Our worship team is going to lead us in some songs just to remind us of who God is and what he has done. So in these moments of just prayer and reflection, when you are ready to receive and participate in communion, then please come forward. Whether it's with family, friends, come and celebrate the amazing truth that Jesus, the courageous one, stood in our place to pay the penalty for all of our sinful choices and decisions and actions so that we could receive the forgiveness of God and have peace with God now and forever. If that is your truth, the truth that you have looked to Christ, Christ alone to make you right with God, then celebrate communion today. And if you're not a Christian, please know that the most courageous decision you could ever make would be say, Jesus, I'm looking to you. I'm looking to you and trusting you, and I choose to follow you today. song we could ever sing, worthy of all the praise we could ever bring, worthy of every breath we could ever bring. the only one who could ever say, worthy of every breath we could ever bring, we live for you, oh, we live for you, holy, there is no one like you, there is none beside Open up my eyes in wonder and 
just before you head out into today uh, and just get ready for another week, I just want to invite you, if God's been challenging you or maybe even encouraging you with something as it relates to the fear of God or the fear of man, uh, before you leave, uh, there are some men and women that would just love to pray with you. Uh, if that would be helpful, and I think it would be, uh, just say, hey, can you pray for me in making choices moving forward uh, to fear the things of God and reflect His heart, not the fear of men? Maybe you just have questions about how to even begin that relationship uh, with God through Christ. There are people that would love to serve you and pray with you, so they'll be on my left and right at the end of service. So God, thank you so much for two courageous women whose names are forever etched in your redemptive story. God, I give thanks that Shipra and Pua made the decision to fear God, to hate that which is evil, rather than fearing the things of man. God, I pray that as we would go from here, we would be men and women who are filled with great courage because your spirit lives and dwells within each of us that we would be men and women that are making decisions at work, at school, in our homes to fear you rather than man and the things of man. God, we ask that in this, as we make decisions to honor you, people would be catching a glimpse, God, of what you are like and how our reflection of you is. God, I pray we would reflect you in home, in school, in work, we reflect your heart to those that are around us. We pray that, Jesus, in your awesome name. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. And again, if you want to learn more about connecting and being part of Genesis relationally and being part of what God's doing here, stop by the living room. It's a great step to take towards friendship. Have an awesome day. God bless. Peace out.